Hello, this is Kevin, and welcome to Wanna Watch a Movie, my channel where I react to movies and shows. So today I'm watching uh, more of The Umbrella Academy Season 3. I'm watching Episode 3, A Pocket Full of Lightning. And I am so, so, so excited to see what uh, the rest of the Hargreaves get up to. Their antics and every little thing that they get into. The last episode was really good. Uh, Five is finally noticing all the weird stuff that's going on and the grandfather paradox that's happening. Uh, Luther is doing something with the pretty girl Sloane. A lot of other stuff is happening and Allison is uh, grieving her daughter and Victor finally came out as Victor and which is good for him. Just, just the same level of crazy that I've come to expect from this show and I'm not at all disappointed. So, uh, we're gonna get started with Season 3, Episode 3. Here we go. Hope you enjoy. Paradox Protocols, The Complete Commission Guide to Temporal Anomaly. <laughs> Chapter 68, The Grandfather Paradox. 68. It's New Jersey, 1953, and Elmer Tatelman hates his grandfather. How many times do I have to tell you? No goddamn peas! This could have been just another sad tale about soup. <laughs> except for one thing. <laughs> Elmer is about to invent time travel. The key to his future happiness is to go back in time and kill his grandfather. <laughs> Elmer completed his mission. He went too far back in time. Elmer's mother didn't exist to meet his father in 1925. <laughs> She's a buzzer. Elmer himself was never born. Elmer has created a paradox. Elmer with a diagram. Grandfather paradox. Don't be an Elmer. Don't be an Elmer, Elmer kids. So far. With your help and a little strategic violence, the commission will make certain nothing like this ever happens. A little strategic violence, new band name called. <laughs> or God help us all. Sparrows and Elmer. Go before someone sees you. Do they bone? Bone. She's just going out the front door. Oh god, he did. <laughs> oh, and uh, condoms for sex, <laughs> which is a thing I do now. You did it before? Anything else? With any. <laughs> Come on, look. You and you can ignore this. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Luther, he's just gonna take the condoms now, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Someone killed our mothers, so we shouldn't exist, but clearly we do exist, and the universe can't handle it. Things have started to disappear. What things? Right now, uh, mobsters. And a shit ton of cows. But I have a feeling this is just the beginning. You know, you can't keep dragging us through hell because you have an itch only an apocalypse can scratch. You think Five wants this? Let's go attack the sparrows, get the briefcase, and go home. Wait, where's Lila? Shower. I told her she could stay with us. Five, where are you going? Go talk to somebody who only has half her head up her ass. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he has a pretty good track record with this stuff. I feel like we should listen to him. Yeah. Sure. Agreed. Hey, do none yeah. of you are. Bastards care about a murdered Bob. We need to find out who did this. This is the thing. This is the main thing. Wait, is that all you want? Yeah. Because it's obviously dead, all right? You think dead? Yeah, people probably yeah, yeah. people. <laughs> yes. Murder City, buddy. I was being held captive by the sparrows. What? None of you notice? <laughs> of course. Oh, We're just God. happy and home safe and sound. <laughs> Don't lie. Oh, Don't yeah. worry. Okay, nice. Excellent hosts. Really quite charming, yeah. actually. Except for the I death threats. So that's the guy they can have. They have a soundtrack. Marcus, they want him back. We don't have him. Damn, problem number two. There. Disappearing people. <laughs> Stanley. What the hell are you doing in here? Shaving my nest, you little pug. Watch your body, each other. Oh, okay. Oh crap. Very strategically avoiding shots of, you know, rest and everything. And stop trying to kill each other. Alright, 
enough. Okay, you just decide to just... I forgot how much I hate you, you puny little turd. What do you know about the grandfather? It's good that they got it all out of their system. Because it's happening. Hand over your briefcase. Lila, why is it you have two briefcases? Fast we try yours. It does work. And then we try mine. Doesn't work great. End of the world. Oh, it's much worse than that. Means you and I are gonna have to work together. Shit. Yeah, that is worse than about it. Lila? Hmm. You need to take this kid with you. Diego, we don't have time for this. Lila and I have got important shit to do. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what's more important than family? Come on. End of the world, genius. What's more important than us? There is no us, Diego. I've moved on. I've slept with many, many people. Many. Wait, 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 what am I supposed to do with him, huh? Be a dad. How many is many people? Way more than you, Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> All the people on the street just disappeared? Well, no, not all of them, just half of them. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. You think this grandfather thing ate Marcus? Now the spare psychopaths think we took their number one. We're never getting the briefcase back. Maybe five can tell them the briefcases aren't working. told the truth. Yeah, that'll go over well. They'll throw us a party. But they throw fantastic parties. Listen, Marcus, <laughs> maybe we can come to some kind of an agreement, get it back. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, well, if you guys are heading over there, I should probably come along. She's got it bad. Your ass is staying here. She needs something to take her mind off Claire. So we'll, we'll handle this. Thanks for looking out for her. What happened to Luther's whole, like, you know, weird crush on Allison? What happened to that? <laughs> Don't be wrong, I'm glad they, got, they, they stopped that. But, like, what happened to that? We're getting tons of missing person complaints in a three block radius. What are they up to? First Marcus, now to grab civilians off the street. Dude, number two. Stop. I suppose that means you are number one now. I'm taking the reins. Guys, okay, stop being what? idiots. You think it should be you? You had your chance once. Had his chance. <laughs> Say that again. We've been numbers two and three for far too long, Faye. With Marcus gone, it's moving day. Guys, do you really need to do this whole pecking order thing? Honestly, seriously, how? Marcus isn't coming back. God took him. Okay, thank God. You. Please, someone go investigate that now. Does she need a checkup? Focus, Faye. We play this right. Guys, how have you not noticed the you know apocalypse brewing in your basement? And what are you chopping up? Can't hold my calls. No. Good man. Can I get a room? Who is? Yes, sir. Authorities are baffled as hundreds of people across the city have vanished, seemingly without a trace. Last warning. Yeah, you don't get to warn me about shit, flock of sheagulls. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Where the fuck is Marcus? Marcus is, uh, safe. For now. But that'll change real quick if you don't do exactly as we say. We want to make things right with you. By it's... kidnapping our brother. No, yes. that's... Allison, what the fuck are you doing? The world is in trouble. It's a it's a time traveling problem. We caused a paradox, and that paradox is swallowing things. Look, I know it sounds just like... give us the briefcase and we'll give you Marcus. What briefcase? The one we left in your house. Deal. Hotel Obsidian, four o'clock sharp. Or we'll send him back in pieces. And then she just puts on the aviator glasses. Klaus, what the fuck what are you doing? Did you even get the wetsuit, dude? What are you fucking doing? Why would you- What the hell is What is happening? What? You were losing them. I'm an actor, I improvise. Well, superb performance, Helen Mirren, but we don't have market. How you almost turned a conversation with Ben into a street fight? Come on, it's not like you. Victor, we could go home tonight. And for the first time in days, I'm feeling hope, so please don't step on that. We don't know enough about the sparrows. I don't give a shit about them. I've got you. No one's gonna win a fight against me and my tiny badass brother. But no more improvising, okay? Gotta. Tiny badass brother, new band name called. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Security assessment. I need you to stay away from the hotel for a few hours, all right? Stop trying to get rid of me. Everyone tries to do that. Maybe just try being less annoying. 
Oh my god, you're bad at this. Yeah. Mom would never let me walk around a strange city all on my own. That's because she's a terrible person. And I'm amazing. Remember that. Get out of here. Here you go. You're being a fucking asshole. I'm so good at this. You suck at this. What are you doing? Is he in the... Okay. Did you kill our moms? Moms? I don't care enough about you to lie. Do I look fit to murder anyone? All right, Red, you know the drill. Pills, bills, and num-nums. Oh, they're drugging him? Sit. What is this? Doesn't concern you, old man. We say sign, you sign. This is like elder abuse right now. What are they having him sign? What is it, a last will and testament or something? Like, what? Yeah, yeah. Woo. Jesus, Reggie, you stink. Tell him the robot to give you a bath. You don't even call her Grace? What the fuck is wrong with you, baby? So far, every one of the sparrows just kind of seems like they suck. Except for Sloan. And maybe the cube? God damn What happened to you? I'm wondering that too. Come on, guys. Find it. Please, come on, you go tell someone about this. Sweet Jesus. Jesus is one possible interpretation of this deity. Be careful, number two. Ben. You don't want to disturb his slumber. Who knows who the waking god will choose next? The waking god. Grace, is this what took Marcus? Grace, when did God get here? Two days ago, with our new visitors. Okay, they did okay. They know now, they know they created a paradox. Okay. And they know they didn't. Take Marcus. Of course, they're not going to actually work together. They're not that functional. Nice suit. Nice. Still, I will miss those pasty knees. Yeah, well, we could all stand to be shown a little less skin these days. I swear, this show is a comedy. This won't go well. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was 99% sure that wouldn't work. Oh, I'm glad my pain amuses you. You have no idea. It's like my therapy. <laughs> well, we're screwed. Maybe not. We powered up together. You blinking, me mimicking that blink. I think that we could create some kind of feedback loop and get enough juice to jumpstart the case. Why not lead with that? If you're leading Diego on his payback for what happened in Texas, you're pissing up the wrong ladder there. Because that idiot may actually love you. He does actually. Love never did. Perhaps we can't get to trust. There is a certain honesty and white hot hatred. Then come over here, god awful little shit. Hold my hand. Honesty and white hot hatred. New band name? Lady Red. Luther. What's with the bottles? Molotov cocktails. What's with the music? None of your biz. Are you making a mixtape? That's our sparrow plan of attack. I got the rest of the afternoon. Relax. Find your analysis in that little bit. Dude, stop trying to just. Bonnie is Victor now. What else did I miss while I was kidnapped? <laughs> the sparrows are coming here, alright? It's time for you and me to show them who's boss. Guys. Lionel Richie. Are you kidding me? What? Lionel Richie's still cool. No. I met someone, okay? When did you have time to meet someone? This is a mix safe for the enemy? Hey, Sloan is not the enemy. This is all one big misunderstanding. It is, yes. And if our family could just behave ourselves once, then we could all work together. And then Sloan and I can fall in love. Get married. Slow down. <laughs> You guys had gravity sex. You know what I can't talk about. No, dude, 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 what are you doing? You might say we were uh, dancing on the ceiling. It's a Molotov cocktail. It's a homemade bomb, okay? I can help. Your job is to study the inside of this elevator, okay? All right. Until I get back. Wait, hey, come back. Diego, you're just, Diego's just being jackass. Never turn your back, my boy. Especially not to your children. It's pills in the porridge and something extra in the tea. Next thing you know, you've signed your life away. No one ever comes to visit anymore. You ever been to a Baskin Robbins? Can't say that I have. I feel like scoop after scoop after scoop's been taken out of me. Brother, <laughs> lover, the whole world now. My mom? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yep. Do you want some ice cream? Would that shut you up? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Class, that won't... That won't fix it. Huh? Oh, damn, pills! Oh, I 
could help you with that. You don't want to take them. Oh, no, 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 no. That's against the rules. I have to take them every day. Just pop to the side, such as this. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da! I didn't care for you when last we met, but I must admit you're growing on me. Kind of backhand compliment there. Who would... What is this guy's deal? Is he from the commission or something? This whole, uh, Victor thing, it's a pretty big deal, right? Should we say something? You know, I mean, make a formal gesture or welcome him as brothers. Ah, no. Yeah, no. Just roll with it, man. Don't say anything and don't be weird. Mark the occasion somehow. You just want to throw a party. <laughs> Why do you hate tiny sandwiches? <laughs> hey, what's up? Who's the one to throw you a big stupid party so you feel loved? Oh. Do you feel loved? Yeah, I, I do. Good. You want? I really like the hair. Number 10? Yeah, it's a good choice. Thanks. I love... Okay, the show goes from, like, this being flat-out crazy to, like, these insanely, you know, heartwarming moments like that. I love it. Oblivion. Oblivion? You're not so terrible when you're asleep. Okay, now he's gonna find House, do not touch it. Klaus, do not touch it. Good, back away. Good, back away. Okay. Guys, come on. Why can't you guys just talk to each other? This is so stupid. Power up, shithead. I can't believe that worked. Not really. I can't believe that worked. Oh, look at those two jabronis getting along, being all silly. So? So that never goes well for us. Diego, stop being an idiot. What's the plan? What do we do when the sparrows get here? Let's follow our lead. Oh shit, they're early. <laughs> ben, I mean, come on, you know, you know they didn't. Marcus now, right? <laughs> Where's the briefcase? Where's our brother? Maybe we should try this again before I lose my temper. Oh, I got this. Oh, run! Molotov this, bitches! Stanley! Stanley, do up! Now, Chris! What is the cube's power? Kill him! Whoa. back and just leave their siblings there? Whoa. Who is this guy? Harlan? <gasps> is that you? He's the kid. He's the kid. He's the kid. Okay. So, the kid, the kid Harlan from season two, he grew up because he had a little bit of Vanya, well, Victor's, a little bit of Victor's power. And uh, kept on kept it a little bit after they left, right? So, yeah, of course he is power. I thought he was someone from the commission or something. Oh god, that makes so much sense. I love that. What is it with these again, guys? Why can't you just talk to each other? Klaus, tell people where you're going. Everybody, keep five in the loop about what's going on. Keep Diego and Luther from doing dumb shit. And like, you know, Allison is going a little off the rails here and just being reckless and stupid. Like, oh, I mean, I can't blame her. If you're know, losing your kid like that, it's gonna really mess with you. Oh man, that makes so much sense. That That's Harlan, and I'm getting over that. That's what they're talking about. I'm trying to think. Luther is totally freaking like, whipped for that girl, for Sloan. Like, dude, you've got it bad. Wait a sec, hang on, does that mean that he's like, 30 something years old and this was still a movie before this point. No wonder he's so instantly like all lovey dovey and in love with her and everything. Well, at least she seems to like him too, which I. For them. Allison, Diego. Diego really. Di Diego is really. How do I say this? 
Diego is being kind of a jackass, if I'm being honest, about Stanley. Because, like, on, on one hand, he's, like, actually protecting him from very imminent danger. But on the other hand, he is just, get away from me. I don't want this. I don't want to be a dad and all that stuff. Just being a, kind of a dick about that. So, you lose points for that. I love that whole little thing they had with uh, Luther being like, I want to throw Victor a party so that he feels loved. And, uh, like, Luther wants to throw you a party so that you feel loved. Do you feel loved? Yes. Good. I like the haircut. <laughs> Just, they handle that so well. And I'm really, I'm really happy about that. I really am. Also, what the hell is... Dude, you're fixating on the wrong thing. It, I mean, it, it, pro it probably is relevant who killed all the mothers. It probably is relevant, yeah, but like, bigger problems right now. Figure it out later. I think that's it. I'm really looking forward to watching more. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Uh, please like this video, comment, subscribe. This is a new channel, so every little bit helps, and every little bit uh, uh, helps me on the YouTube algorithm. And uh, if you want to support my uh, channel a little more and get early access to some of my content and, you know, access to polls and all that cool stuff, uh, please join my Patreon. I'll link in the description below. And as always, there's more coming soon. So thank you very much for watching and see you later.